Hello, it's Jake Plummer and Yogi Roth. Mike Yam with you. Two Saturdays ago, the Pat Tillman Fund they raised money with Pat's Run. 4.2 mile race actually supports the foundation which supports military vets and their spouses through educational scholarships. At last check, it's funded 347 students. Well, what a great community event. Uh, you know, it makes you proud to be an American. Uh, this is special. It's, uh, you know, obviously being a Sun Devil, this is one of our greatest days of the year because it honors, you know, one of the greatest Sun Devils ever. You know, a guy that embodied character, discipline, toughness, uh, and service and sacrifice. So it's a great day to be a Sun Devil, but it's even a greater day to be an American today. I love what Jack Pat Timmel was about. I mean, on and off the field, I mean, what he did for this country and what he did for this community. I mean, it's just a great uh, representation of what we try to strive for every day and be a part of this football team. Uh, if you're a part of the Sun Devil team, I mean, you should know about it and know about what he did and what he did for this country. It truly is a blessing to be out here. Like I said, Pat Tillman is a player that we look up to every day. You know, we can only strive to be half as good of a player that he was on and off the field. All right, Jake, we knew we were, we were going to have you on set. You played with Pat. You know about his legacy. Explain to me just sort of the legacy he has left behind in that area and for this school. You know, there's, there's a lot of layers to that. We, I could go on and on, but really it was his passion for not just football, but life and how he treated his teammates, uh, coaches, tr the trainers, uh, custodians. I mean, he was really a, a very nice person that treated everybody right, would go around the building and talk to people. Uh, played with, he brought it on the practice field, just like he brought it in the game. It was no difference. There wasn't like a switch he'd turn on on Saturday night to play. It was the same in practice. You know, his, his legacy is uh, going to live on forever. I appreciate history a lot more now, being a friend of Pat's. And, uh, you know, he, he was a, a legend prior to going over and fighting for our country in Afghanistan. And that was just because of the way he carried himself. I mean, he treated everybody how you'd want to be treated. And it really stood out that he cared about you from the top down, the starters down to the walk-ons. They all were friends with Pat. I can really honestly say everyone on that team was his friend. And you can't, can't say that about too many people. Yeah, I remember playing on the East Coast, you know, yeah. a couple years behind you guys, and you always wondered, who is that guy? <laughs> the long hair just running around with his hair on fire. And you idolized him a little because he always played with the chip on his shoulder. And, and now being around so many high school student athletes, every weekend I'm in a different city, and they all know Pat Tillman. And to me, that speaks volumes of his imprint on this game, his will, his work ethic, his determination. And, and it's awesome to see a 17-year-old kid who wasn't even born when he was playing actually know who your teammate was. Yeah, it really is impressive. I have friends who've named their kids after Pat. You know, their son's called Tillman, one of them, Buddy Blass back in Boise. But, you know, what he, what he did was just, like I mentioned, about treating people right. You know, he, he went to one of our walk-on quarterbacks who no one else was there on the team to one of his plays that he was in. And uh, Gus, the quarterback I'm talking about, saw Pat said, well, what are you doing here? He's like, well, I'm coming to watch your, you know, you perform. And Gus was just, wow, this is awesome. What an awesome guy, you know, to do this. And a great friend. Uh, he told Coach Schneider in our meetings up at Camp Tanazona when he sat him down as freshman, you know, to decide if you're going to redshirt or not. He told Coach, no, don't, don't redshirt me because if you do, I'm leaving in four <laughs> years, so you're only going to get three years out of me. So, I mean, this was the kind of guy. He had a plan. He knew what he wanted to do. He constantly challenged himself to be better, to inspire greatness out of everyone around him. And this was before he went and fought in the war. So, you know, it's, it's nice that they keep remember, remembering Pat, and he's a worthy guy. You walk out that tunnel, I tell the players, you better bring it like Pat would. Yeah, you know, it's funny because you sort of set the scene and explain what the legacy has been. You've been with us now for a couple seasons, and his name has popped up a lot in these hallways as we come out to set or in our touchdown room when we're watching games. It's always the, the way you talk about him and your fond memories of your time with him. It is truly special. I know it actually does mean a whole lot to you, and obviously he's left a huge mark for ASU football.